Hey guys, my name is Julia. I'm one of your teen services librarians over at the main library on Goodwood. This week we are bouncing off the walls because we're using chemistry to make bounce balls. Supplies that accompany this week's video are available at the main library's drive-thru in a limited capacity. But before we get started, let's give credit where it's due. This was originally developed by the American Chemical Society, and I have linked to the original program in the video description. To make a bouncing polymer ball, you will need white glue, cornstarch, water, borax, two craft sticks, food coloring, and measuring spoons. Uh, you have to provide the water yourself. If you don't have measuring spoons, I've tried to find workarounds for them uh, for you to use. So our first step we want to do is we want to add two tablespoons of water to the container labeled uh, B. And if you don't have measuring spoons, I went ahead and marked where two tablespoons should hit for you on the side. And you want that water to be pretty warm, so I'm actually just going to heat it up in the work kettle. And you don't want to get it all the way boiling, that's, that's too much. I'm just filling it up to a line on the side. What you want to do now is you want to go ahead and take either half a teaspoon of your borax packet or about half of the bag and dump it into the water. I tried to include enough supplies for you to make two balls, uh, you know, in case you want to, or if you goof on the first one. Once you get the borax in there, you want to go ahead and just stir it up. And you just want that to be all dissolved. Once you're there, you want to go ahead and open your empty container and your container of glue and put either one tablespoon or half of the white glue into the empty container. Once that's in there, you want to go ahead and take half a teaspoon of your borax solution and put it in the white glue. If you don't have a teaspoon, just try to eyeball it. But you want to put that in there and let it sit for 10 to 15 seconds. All right, after that is up, you can go ahead, pop some of your food coloring in. And you want to go ahead and put one tablespoon of your cornstarch to as well. Uh, you can go ahead and pour half the container in or you could measure it out. If like me your tablespoon is all glue covered and gross, you can just use three teaspoons. And then you just want to go ahead and stir that all together. Really, until it gets a point where you can't really stir it so much. All right, and once it's doing this thing where it's just gooping to the stick, you want to go ahead and just stick it in your hands and knead it together. The glue will come off your hands. The food coloring uh, may leave you looking like a smurf for the rest of the day, so just be aware of that. So once you're done, you should have a ball that will bounce. Let's test this out. Okay, so I also wanted to show you guys uh, a couple of things that can happen if you goof on this, uh, just so you know what to look out for. So if you add too much cornstarch, you get a guy that looks like this. Uh, he looks a bit like a brain, honestly, and he doesn't bounce very much. If you go ahead and you add the borax solution, 
uh, and the cornstarch at the same time, or you don't let the borax solution sit, you get a, this guy. Uh, I actually rolled these all into balls at the same time and set them down. He's very flat. He actually acts a lot more like silly putty than a bouncing ball. So, you know, that's an option too. But if you do everything right, you should get something like this that uh, is relatively smooth and will hold its shape. <clears throat> all right, so now it's time for the science. Let's talk about polymers. Polymer has the world's most boring Greek name because it translates to many parts, but that is exactly what a polymer is. It is a pretty big molecule that's made up of the same bits repeating. Think of it as a pattern that runs in a line. So uh, if you've ever heard of polymers before, you probably associate them with plastics, which is absolutely correct. However, there's a lot of naturally occurring polymers too, like DNA and a whole bunch of proteins. One polymer that you're probably very familiar with though is Elmer's glue. Uh, white glue is a polyvinyl acetate, or PVA, and if you could look at its molecular structure, it would actually look roughly like this. So these long strands of hydrogen and carbon all pretty much act the same way, and they are able to slide past each other, which is what makes glue so goopy. When you add borax, though, that is a sodium nitrate, and what happens is that it actually goes ahead and bonds all those strands of um, Elmer's glue together. And so it doesn't allow them to slide past each other and be goopy anymore. Instead, it actually creates this kind of rubbery substance that we call an elastomer, which is what allows your ball to bounce. If you have any questions or comments about today's video, holler at us. Leave a comment here or call us at 231-3770. Better yet, show us what you made by tagging us on Instagram. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this and I can't wait to see you next time.